Hello, I'm Marshall Savage. I am a distinguished engineer in the Dell Server Division and I focus on firmware and security architecture. I'd like to talk to you today about the system lockdown feature in iDRAC, the PowerEdge BMC controller. First, I'd like to talk to you about how this feature came about. It all started at a customer briefing. We were talking about Open Manage Enterprise and its ability to detect change and drift across a whole fleet of servers. And as we were talking, it became clear that unintended drift can cause production downtime. And the customer's pain point really was, and how do I prevent that drift from happening in the first place? And how do we help IT administrators know that the system is in a production environment and more care should be taken with making the changes? We took that pain point and we developed the system lockdown feature as a virtual padlock that enables iDRAC and the PowerEdge server to go into a read-only mode where all firmware and hardware configuration changes are prevented, even from users running with full administrative privileges in the host operating system and inside the iDRAC GUI. Not all operations are prevented. iDRAC allows you to still log in and power cycle your server and reboot your operating system. It allows you to monitor the health and reporting of the system. It even allows you remote physical presence to log into the OS with the virtual console. So all of those operations are still there. Where system lockdown takes effect is everything below the hypervisor and OS operating level. So all the firmware configuration, all the hardware configuration stays locked and it brands it in the iDRAC GUI with the big banner and yellow padlock that we are in system lockdown mode to give visual clues to your system administrators that this system is in production and that any changes need to be made with care. It forces them to first disable system lockdown mode before going in and making any targeted changes. System lockdown feature requires iDRAC Enterprise or data center license to be used. You can enable system lockdown in all iDRAC interfaces. You can do it in the GUI, programmatically via Redfish REST APIs, and via Rack Atom. Any interface that you use to make a change will return a unique error code indicating that system lockdown is in effect so that you know if your scripts aren't working why they are failing. In the iDRAC GUI, when you log in interactively, you get the banner and the padlock indicating that you're in system lockdown mode. All configuration changes are grayed out, so you have clear indication that the system is in an operation mode and changes should be made with care if needed. The system lockdown fits into Dell PowerEdge cyber resilient architecture of protect, detect, and recover. For protection, system lockdown prevents firmware updates from running in the host operating system and makes attack chains much harder and longer to take effect because it prevents all changes. From a detection perspective, enabling and disabling system lockdown mode creates iDRAC lifecycle log entries, and those become key telemetry information for your security systems. So if you're running a fleet of systems and you see one of them outside of a maintenance window transition from system lockdown mode to non-lockdown, that should be an indication to go be investigated. It may be good that there's a break glass scenario going on where it's important and done properly, or it could be something else that's going on. And as long as you investigate it and remedy it, you're all good. Now that you know about all the great capabilities of the system lockdown, how do you operationalize it? As I alluded to earlier, it fits in maintenance windows very nicely. If you think of it as a bookend to the maintenance cycle, first you migrate all your workloads off of the server, then you go in and disable system lockdown so that you can make changes. You run your Dell update packages, you make your configuration changes, you test and validate that your server changes are good and everything's working correctly, then you turn system lockdown back on and now your system's protected and running in a safe state and you can migrate the rest of your workloads onto it. By following this methodology, it helps your IT operations understand that these servers are in production and when they are working. If it's outside of production, then they need to take the extra care to be able to disable it and make the configuration changes and turn it back on. So it causes a pause where your system administrator can think about what they're doing to avoid unintended mistakes. This can also be automated at scale. We talked about Open Manage Enterprise earlier. You can also use Open Manage Enterprise to schedule these downtime windows and coordinate each server's update and configuration changes across your fleet of systems. So it's not only a one-to-one -one operation, because it's available via the programmatic APIs of Redfish, you can orchestrate it in whatever tool you have. So in conclusion, the system lockdown feature is very powerful and simple to use in your data center. It helps your IT administrators follow best practices and take care when they are making production level changes, and it helps prevent unintended changes to your systems.